What's up guys? Let's Toad here. So in this video I wanted to show off a rather interesting build. This character takes advantage of many auras. So let me show you her gear. And currently she's a Nova Sorceress. So she wears Heart of the Oak, uh, which is actually overkill. Uh, this build might actually be better with a Crescent Moon, which I might try in a future video. Overkill here as well. Uh, really, you're going for the 105 faster cast rate uh, breakpoint. So, the first aura I have is uh, Redemption from Phoenix. Hell yeah. Got this thing, that thing, that thing. And you make an insight with your uh, Metal Grid amulet. So, that's a very nice insight. I hate to see that shit go bye bye. But I guess that's what Ice Boy is going to do. So there's the Iron Golem. Something to complain about is the fact that apparently when you make an Iron Golem out of your Metal Grid Amulet, it goes bye-bye when you leave the game. It doesn't join you back in the next game as it would with, say, the Necromancer. So it really sucks ass from the beginning. Uh, so if you want this build, if you want to use this build, you're going to have to have a lot of insights. Yeah, so that part really sucks ass. I don't know. Maybe they could change it. We'll see. And he's actually uh, quite squishy as expected, so be cautious. Uh, the Mercenary uses Infinity, so there's the Conviction Aura. And he also has Holy Freeze that he casts when he starts hitting enemies, the, uh, the skill that he begins with. Hell yeah. <clears throat> so how many auras is that? We got Phoenix for Redemption. Uh, we have Insight, we have Conviction, we have Holy Freeze, and we even have the, uh, the Iron Golem, the, the Iron Golem even has his Thorns Aura, which unfortunately uh, doesn't work on your characters, it only works on him, or your minions, it doesn't work for them either, but yeah, that's it. As for the skills, uh, it's a Nova build as mentioned, so Max Nova, Max Static Field, Max Lightning Mastery, and it's kind of like uh, the build that I had in my previous video where it does really well with Energy Shield. So you want a lot of mana, which is why you could easily switch out the Mage Fists with Frost Burns. Only reason I'm not doing it is because I don't feel like finding that shit and switching it around right now. 5100 Nova damage, and her Lightning Pierce, negative 30 to enemy Lightning Res. So with this build, you, uh, hold up, so that's, that's how it, that's how it fares. Uh, against lightning immunes, it kind of sucks. Uh, Fatty, I, I think Fatty actually forgot what he was going to say with this build, whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys have seen my streams... I, you know this, but I, I've been streaming the past uh, week or so, so stay tuned for those. I just kind of do them throughout the day sometimes when I feel like it. So follow me on Discord if you want to be updated when I do that. I'm trying to get more channel members because I'm thinking YouTube is probably going to, in the future, especially start promoting channels that have more members. And I would love for my channel to get promoted the fuck out of. So if y'all want to become a member, I'd appreciate it. Uh, you can hit that little join button or the uh, first link in the description below for that. But basically about this build, it sucks ass, alright? It's just kind of interesting uh, because you can have all these auras. And you know, I always thought of like a godly as a toad character basically having an iron golem made of something like really good. Obviously you can make the iron golem out of your infinity as well, but that would be pretty stupid uh, because... Ultimately, I think your mercenary benefits more with infinity over uh, insight, especially if you have to make the shit every fucking game. You definitely don't want to do that with infinity. I'm just uh, speaking in reference if you're playing some hero editor thing or whatnot. Uh, but of course, it's really just good for testing, isn't it? Who actually plays hero editor for fun? Uh, unless if you only have like like ten minutes to play Diablo uh, in a day, and that's all you ever get or something. But. So against light immunes, it kind of sucks. Um, you're you're going to want more pierce, which is why I think 
Jmod. And I do have Jmod. So let's get rid of this Phoenix and uh, the Redemption. It's not really... It's overkill for the most part. Good old Jmod. Put that shit on there and watch the lightning damage. What was that? Uh, 51, 23. And now it's at 52, 86. So uh, a very unworthy increase there. But nonetheless, you're getting more pierce. So now she's piercing at 50% enemy ice res. Kind of curious to see how well she can do in the chaos. Now, the problem is... She doesn't do very well on player Z. I mean, you're not... You're not... You need to pierce more, basically. But, oh my god, look at this. Holy shit. See, what's cool about this is... I mean, it's hard to get both redemption and meditation. Which is why I think, ultimately... You're better off... Wearing the infinity... Made in, like, a plain scythe or something. Maybe even ethereal. And then having the inside on your mercenary. Because as mentioned in previous videos, then you are taking advantage of that massive pierce that Infinity offers. Which is uh, negative 50 to negative 55% to enemy lightning res. So if you wear that, you're gaining a ton of pierce. And then you don't really need the Iron Golem. Because... Uh, Yep, there he goes. Little motherfucker poofed. I should have been watching him more closely. Oh my god, she's actually doing okay without without uh, meditation. What the hell? Look at her mana. Are you kidding me, dude? What the? Toad? Why is her mana so high? Holy shit. Even with energy shield. Oh my god, it's barely moving! Look at that! What the hell is the regen? Regenerate mana only 100%? Holy toad! Is there some... Is this a glitch? Teleport only calls 5 mana? Is this a glitch, dog? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think it's a glitch. I think that uh, she just has a lot of mana. Alright. Act like we still have the Iron Golem. I mean, he sucks ass anyway. Okay, so we got a J-Mod sword, J -Mod sword right here. Hell yeah. Uh, J-Mod really it prevails with the lightning Jabba's on. I think. Uh, it's great for dueling. Uh, unfortunately, with the traps in... As we all know, Pierce and even added elemental damage does not affect your traps at all. So, otherwise, it would be great on the Trap Assassin, but I don't know. Maybe that'd be OP. Hello. All right, so maybe I'll try this for a minute without the Golem. <clears throat> Screw it. But in this case, now I would benefit much more from Phoenix, uh, which I don't have on, of course. Here, I'll kill these elites. Or or not the, I'll kill the boss and, it, and it's homies, it's hombres. Those guys are lightning res, I don't really want to mess with them. So here, or uh, here's the lightning immunes. Holy shit. This is actually doing quite well uh, without like extreme mana regen, especially even against these uh, enemies that drain your mana. Wow, this one's a pain in the ass. That's fine. Here we go. And static, of course. It's nice when you can max static, because you pretty much have to with the Nova build. Because it just has a ton of radius, then. I'll use the mana pot. But, I mean... Yeah, I mean, the Insight Golem... He's ass. Right? He's ass. I, I really just wanted to make the fucking video with him, but... I mean, just imagine this build with, you know, the, the mana regenerating fast. Uh, but really... Uh, the conclusion is, don't use Metal Grid to make a Golem with it, because he's just going to poop anyway, and he sucks ass anyway. His, his life is way too low. Even with Battle Orders, as you can see, this is player's one difficulty. And he got swatted fast. But it's things like that. I, what they need to do, is for one, 
it shouldn't be charges on the amulet. You know, it shouldn't be charges. Just give us the skill. Uh, give it like plus 10 to Iron Golem or something like that. And even with Iron Maiden, fuck it, who's going to use it anyway? Just just give us a skill so we can mess around. And it'll make it so that the Iron Golem sticks with you throughout games. In, in, in that sense, or if that were the case, maybe it would be worth trying things out a little bit with the Iron Golem. Uh, especially if he had, say, a little bit more HP. Because I don't think he has enough HP. But if that were the case, you know, maybe you could experiment some. I mean, I, I've heard legend of necromancers who make, uh, like, infinity out of their iron golem. Why the fuck would you do that? I don't know. When you could uh, just make insight with them and have... They do it for some obscure build. I don't know. Maybe they want doom or something. Or a pride, rather. Or maybe they want pride on the mercenary. Or vice versa. Things like that. You know, I, I've heard legend of shit like that going down. Because when the Necromancer makes that, I believe it does follow you throughout the games. And plus, they can put on a ton of plus skill gear. And uh, get its life at an adequate level. Hell yeah. But what do you guys think about this suck-ass Iron Golem? Here, I'm going to make... Hell yeah, I'm going to make his ass out of Vondel's wisdom. With this character, I think Arcane Sanctuary is probably a good place to farm. Oh, I like the pit, but... Arcane Sanctuary, you kill these little ghost things, and they can't drop... ...weapons and armor. So basically their loot table is, uh, is smaller. So the probability in turn then is higher of them dropping the things that they can drop compared to monsters who aren't limited in the loot tables. Uh, so you get a higher chance of finding a rune for kill on those motherfuckers. And the same thing applies to, uh, to the things in the cast sanctuary. The ghost things in the cast sanctuary. <clears throat> the specters, whatever. Hell yeah, yeah, but what's the highest rune that can fall here? Do any of you guys know? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Little Ice Boy doesn't really know. Uh, can you find a Zod here? I don't think you can. So yeah, basically what Blizzard or Microsoft needs to do now, Vicarious Visions, give us a loot filter. Um, and uh, have more details on the items, like you pick something up and it shows the item level. Because then, I would probably uh, have a better idea as to what uh, rooms come for. Of course, you can look this shit up online, but that sucks when you have to go and look shit up online. Like that. Like, we should know what these item levels are. So you have it so, like how it is in the modded versions, where you identify it, and it shows item level in the white as well. Right under the required level, say item level, and then it'll show. I mean, I think the item level here is like 60-something. I don't know. What's the highest rune that can fall here? Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys will. I'm kind of interested. But there you have it. There's the suck ass sorceress. Uh, don't don't screw with Iron Golem is my recommendation. And from my testing so far, really the sorceress that I enjoy the most is the one who wields infinity herself. Maybe I'll try it. The one that wields infinity herself was uh, was very powerful. Oh shit! Am I all up? No, I have another insight. I use this one. This I think is my favorite sorceress. Um, you can be my title in my previous video, clickbaity title. Something like Immortal Sorceress or How to Be Immortal or some shit. Because let me show you. Now this, uh, the rest of her gear isn't necessarily built around this. Uh, you want, you definitely want Frost Burns with this setup. Uh, another SOJ. Frost Burns and another SOJ. But yeah, let me show you Toads this. Yeah, yeah. 
pre-buff. Alright. Uh, see, I'm doing less damage, but you're really doing more damage, I think. Because <laughs> you're just piercing so much. Holy shit. We gotta wipe them out. Not a bad cast frame. As long as you're 105 or greater, you'll be good. Oh, she's just at 105 now. Uh, so actually... Oh, right. Don't need that amulet now, dumbass. Yeah, so this is kind of closer to uh, my in my discoveries anyway over the past couple weeks. Like, look at this. You can put on that amulet. Now you can put on frost burns. And you'll have uh, more mana, which kind of translates to more life when you are a uh, an energy shield build like this. Here, I'll at least get that amp damage off myself for a minute. So now it's 4,800. <laughs> See how well she can do this now? Holy toad. Look at that. <laughs> you see how much more powerful it is? Holy shit. And it can even do... I mean, it can do players 8. Oh my god. But for... For like... Players 1? I mean, I feel like this... This has got to be better than a hammer did. And a Javazan. Just you can zip around so fast. And look at your mana. Your mana and health, they basically stay the same. Because your mana kind of is your health right now. Uh, just make sure if you... The only problem is running into mana burn enemies. As is showcased in my previous video. Oh, this these guys are annoying. <laughs> but, because then if you mana burn, you're going to obviously uh, lose your mana shield. And then you're kind of screwed. And look at the resist. <clears throat> the... Uh, the energy shield ignores your resist, except for poison. Uh, so you actually need poison maxed, and I'm not there with this with this build. But it's quite easy to attain that. I mean, do it with charms or something. Do it with that ring, carry on wind. Uh, hopefully, don't. Hopefully, you won't have to do it with the ring though. You want something better than that there? Well, you know, you can get poison res. I mean, shit. Put on uh, sandstorm tracks. A little bit of FHR. But didn't they change something with FHR? For like dueling or something. Does does FHR even matter right now? They gotta fix that. That's bullshit, but uh if that if that's the case. But yeah, this character has gotta be there's some poison runs right there. This would be a great one to strive for. I mean really after you make infinity, it can be quite cheap. You don't you don't really need the Griffins. See, I could, I could, I could take. But the problem is, this amulet is quite expensive. But it's not needed uh, if you have Griffins. You take that off. You put on dual FH, uh, whatever rings. So, say you didn't have twenty FCR from your amulet. I'm at one hundred five right now. And say you didn't have Griffins. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Okay, so, so you'll probably need griffins for this shit, but that's fine. <clears throat> that's fine. That's fine. You you can get a cheap griffins for... I mean, you, you can get a pretty cheap griffins. Or you could use a rare uh, circlet that's kind of plain with just 20 FCR or even a magic one. And then just make up for the other five uh, elsewhere. With that SOJ, for example. But if you get a, sh a shitty griffins, <clears throat> a couple weeks in the ladder... It's not that bad if you trade right, uh, to my memory anyway. I don't know if she's, I don't know how much it's going to uh, change up now with D two R. Uh, to an extent, it probably will, like the market, especially the new rune words, and uh, I don't know. Are there even any new builds? Hydra's pretty much ass now again. But here, yeah. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, let me know what you think about this character. I really like this one here, uh, but yeah, I wanted to showcase the whole Iron Golem extravaganza. Sucks ass. But if you guys will, become a patron. Uh, really appreciate my supporters. Thank you. Links in the description below. And I'm also uh, trying to get channel members right now. Like I said, I think YouTube, my speculation is they're going to promote the channels with more members. 
Uh, so you might be able to give Ice Boy a little bit of an edge, uh, being a member and shit, in terms of them promoting the channel. Uh, because, of course, there's a lot of streamers who uh, stream on Twitch, and they're not streaming on YouTube. And uh, YouTube, they're probably going to start really pushing the live shit, is my speculation. Why would they not? I mean, they're owned by Rich. I mean, they're owned by Google, right? So they're probably going to really try to uh, push the live stream and all that. <clears throat> or try to get it up to par with Twitch. So I'm guessing that, you know, the, uh, the membership thing is a big deal to them. Appreciate you guys for watching the video. More videos to come, and I'll be live streaming, uh, especially for this ladder reset. I'm really looking forward to that. Going back now to uh, think I'm going to make the Necro. Summon Necro, Corpse Explosion. Sounds fun as a toad. So I'll talk to you all later. Peace be with you.